All right. Hey, gang. Jack Allaire here, uh, just with another morning coffee. Um, I stumbled across this interesting thing in World of Warcraft that I didn't know about. It is a Dead Mines pet run, which maybe everybody knew about and I didn't. But so basically, what it is is, and I've I've downed one boss so far, just to kind of get where we're going here. But so there's there was the Phil Reaper. 50, which is a, a mechanical pet, and this one is uh, an undead, an unfortunate Defias, which there's his body down there and there's his head. So it looks like what I'm going to have to do is constantly switch my my pets around. So I thought this was a neat, a neat little thing to show you. And of course I've Oh, two more pets join the battle. That's not okay. Okay, they should be pretty much pushovers. So basically, uh, we got told that we need to come down here. I don't exactly remember why, because wasn't really paying attention. No, don't want to use that. And the it's basically Pokemon. I mean, it's got the different types. And then you rotate between... Ouch! He's undead, so he's going to come back for one round. Just long enough to kill my dude. Mm. Bring in the planes monitor. Just take the hit. Ooh, can't be swapped. Well, that's not okay. Alright, so... If the user has lower health... I'm already going first. That's what this little golden outline means. But now he's put me lower than him. Now I can do double damage. I'm basically just waiting until I can swap him out. Um, now I'm higher than him. We'll go ahead and do the... Just because it goes first. Mm, that's going to hurt. Okay. We're going to stop to my strand grab. Now! This will look very boring, because this is what I do. This is my... my strand crab is my MVP, because he's basically... Uh, he is more survivable than the cockroach, which says a lot. Because the cockroach actually has a bubble thing that's just like, it can't die this round. But I think you can only use it once every three rounds or so. Whereas the strain crab, what you can do is you can basically tell it, okay, great. This one reduces 77 damage for each hit, which helps out a lot. This one heals, so you just alternate back and forth with lucky kill things. And then when you get down to one round, you start it all over again. See in this attack, she's using what, the stampede I think? Causes damage. But I've reduced the damage enough to where it doesn't matter. And any damage that does get through, I'm gonna get healed from it. So go me. I don't know if 
I have a dead mind's rat. I don't even know if there's if there is one. Maybe there's not. Okay, so we made it through. And now we move on to the next one. So this is an elemental. So we pull up and we go, okay, great. So we'll go ahead and heal everybody. And we'll go, all right, who's got some elemental like stuff? So see, we're going to switch him over to Surge because he's got the elemental. Clockwork Gnome is bad against elementals. Okay. Disgusting Oozling. Uh, not really great. Dread Hatchling. Good against magic, yeah. Fell Flame. Mechanical and magic. I know I had somebody. It was really good. And I was just looking at him. Stream crab. Nope. Nope. You're humanoid. You take down a flying. There we go. There you are. So. And then. Oof. Bring my clockwork gnome out. Clockwork Gnome won't do any good. Infinite Whelpling. He's better. He does all kinds of crazy stuff. Sleep Gas. There we go. Okay. So now we've got that set up. Now we come up here and we take a look and see what happens. Because what's probably going to happen is that he's going to uh, summon more dudes. So yeah, so there's our... What have we got? We've got a flying and a critter. So, hooray. Use a port around. Dealing 5% of the target's max health is damage when they attack you. I don't think he's going to be around that long, so... Oh, well... We'll just pass. for one more round. Yeah, now we gotta get out of here. Let me bring up my Wuppling. This guy's annoying more than anything else.
There. Got him. Okay, dead mine's rat. I'm gonna switch over to And now here we are, back with my strand crab. Who I need to name at some point. Come up with a good name for him. What would a good name for a strand crab be? Oh, and normally you can't see what moves they're doing. Uh, I just have an add-on that knows a pet tracker, I think, because I do a lot of petting. Petting? Petting. I do a lot of pet battles. And you may always be tempted to like, ah, I'm gonna go for the kill. And that's when you die. Because <laughs> that's when they swap out and suddenly do a flying move that you can't counter. There are a lot of pet battles that are pretty, pretty cool. What was the one? There's one where there are three different, there are three different types, and they they rotate every. I think they rotate at the beginning of every turn. So it's super. Oh, see, we don't want him here. All right, let's bring. Take that. Ugh. I hate you. That's what I mean by like a flying type. You're like, oh, I'll just fly way up. Luckily, you can only do that every four rounds. Marr. Worst guard ever. A tiny monkey guards the door. Okay, so he's a beast. Did we have... What did we have here? I think critters are good against... Is it critter attacks? No. No, beasts are good against critter. What is he? He's a beast. Okay. So what's good against beast? Do do do. You would think I would know this, but I'm terrible. Undead or good again, that's all aquatic nonsense. Fell flame, emerald, magic flying. All right, we'll heal everybody up. Flying humanoid elemental. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. I've never gotten that to be useful. Okay, so where's my tranquil mechanical yeti? With his metal fist, call lightning. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll do it that way. Okay. So, oh, no, no, no. I want to change one thing. A mining monkey. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. We're gonna get a little screwy here. <clears throat> and then now we're gonna swap to... Holy crap. Mm, do I try and get the shot off or do I swap out? I think I want to try and get the shot off. So he's going to kill him. But it's okay, because he's mechanical, so he gets to come back. Oh, that stupid... Ugh. That throw banana thing is dumb. We're, we're losing terribly. But that's okay. And now we're back to the standard. If you can get those guns up, do some serious damage. <laughs> and done. That's how we roll. I don't know if I can actually take damage here. I assume I can. Everything's level 59 though, so... Oh, really? Oh, I don't like you guys anymore. That's what I get for not paying attention. Come on. There we go. Now we'll just walk around. Okay, so he's a humanoid. Hooray for us. So we're going to put you in the front slot.
And then, oh, I don't know. Throw my disgusting oozling in there. A strand crab in there. So. Captain Klutz. Oh, he's got a lot of hit points. And he reduces all damage taken by. Okay. So. Really? That was annoying. Get the oozling out there. This is gonna go real bad, just so you know. these are a bad plan. We'll go with this one. I think he's gonna... Nope. Oof. Are you gonna die? Yeah, you're gonna die. Yeah. Just by a smidge, though. Okay. Was healed already. That is so not fair. Okay. Had him. Okay. So, as you can see, you don't always win. Alright, so we gotta take him down fast. But I think that'll do it for today. Just a short one. What are we at? Only like 25 minutes. Alright, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, Dead Minds Part 3, I think is the name of the quest. Uh, you can look it up. And it's actually, it's really cool. I don't need Battle Bird and Battle Monkey. What? Oh, well, whatever. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!